Google has just released an open model which is for doctors and medical pros to turn spoken words into written notes. This model is built onto something called as confirmer model which is like a super powered brain for understanding audio. In this video we are going to install this model med asr locally and i will be showing you how you can do the same for your any audio related to medical domain this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot also please follow me on x if you are looking for ai updates without any hype and without any fluff before I start the installation, let's have a quick overview of this new model. With about 105 million tiny building blocks like parameters, this model was trained on 5000 hours of anonymous medical talks like doctors dictating reports or chatting with patients. This model covers areas like x-rays, like in radiology, general health checkups and family doctor visits. It takes in simple audio clips, single channel 16 kHz speed in a basic digital format and then it spits it out in plain text. So the main attraction is that there are a lot of tricky medical words that regular speech to text models might mess up or simply miss. But this model, because it is fine tuned and specialized, this model ensures that we get it right. So let's get it started. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. Though I have this GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM, you can simply use this on CPU or any edge device. I'm going to create a virtual environment with Conda and if you're looking to rent a GPU or CPU, or any VM on very very affordable price you can find the link to master compute in videos description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs next up let's install all the prerequisites which is going to take a couple of minutes while that happens let's talk a bit more around this model before I you know talk about this architecture the use cases are huge for this model in my humble opinion you can use med asr to make healthcare easier and faster it is great for turning a doctor's voice notes into accurate reports like describing x-ray findings with all the fancy body parts and disease names or it can transcribe talks between doctors and patients to help create quick summaries or notes if needed you can even fine-tune this model for different accents noisy rooms new medical terms or formatting dates nicely you can also use it any um, streaming tool just or any other um, medical LLM tool like Medjama, which we already have covered on our channel to automate, uh, you know, automate patient reports, highlight symptoms or even, you know, checking out if any health privacy rules are being violated or anything like that. So this is the architecture. Um, but before I, you know, let's you know, get this thing installed and we will check out the architecture then. Okay, next up, let's log into Hugging Face. I just need to give the login here. I am already logged in. And you might also have to go to Hugging Face page and accept the terms and condition here. So make sure that you already have done it. Next up, I am launching my Jupyter Notebook. And now let's download the model. And you can see that it's a very small model, just 421 meg. Run it anywhere. Okay, I think I just need to, this is, I'll just show you what exactly it is saying. Okay, so I just need to update my hugging face, uh, sorry, my transformers library. The reason being is that you see that we need to install this transformer file because that is where it is supported. So let me update it and relaunch my Jupyter notebook and download the model. And this is where I have rebuilt it. I just simply ran that command, which I already showed you this one. And now I'm going to launch my Jupyter Notebook again here. Let me launch it. And now the model is loaded, as you can see. It already downloaded it. And now it has loaded the weights onto my 
GPU or CPU, we will check it shortly. And now I am also downloading that audio file. This is a test audio file which I will play shortly. And then we are just using the pipe to convert it into tokens. Model is then going to process it. And then we are, will get the results back. And I will also describe that architecture shortly how that is happening as per confirmer architecture. Now, before I run this, let me play the audio for you. And I'm just going to play that audio in the browser. Exam type CT, chest PE, protocol period, indication 54 year old female, shortness of breath, evaluate for PE period, technique standard protocol period, findings colon, pulmonary vasculature colon, the main PA is patent period. There are filling defects in the segmental branches of the right lower lobe comma, compatible with acute PE period, no saddle embolus period, lungs colon, no pneumothorax period, small bilateral effusions comma, right greater than left period, new paragraph, impression colon, acute segmental PE right lower lobe period. Okay, so this is a Google supplied audio. So now just keep that in mind. Let's transcribe it. And because there were a lot of medical terminology and the formatting. So let's see how it goes with it. So I'm just going to run this on the audio. And there you go. <clears throat> it has given us the answer. So if I let me that play that audio again, and then we will check it out together. Exam type CT, chest PE, protocol period, indication 54 year old female, shortness of breath, evaluate for PE period, technique standard protocol period, findings colon, pulmonary vasculature colon, the main PA is patent period. There are filling defects in the segmental branches of the right lower lobe comma, compatible with acute PE period, no saddle embolus period, lungs colon, no pneumothorax period, small bilateral effusions comma, right greater than left period, new paragraph, impression colon, acute segmental PE right lower lobe period. So you see for the paragraphs for period, it has put it in the braces which you know which helps in the formatting later down the road um, it is perfect you know spotless i think real good stuff and this is happening on the back of this architecture let me try to explain it in simple words so the inner workings you know they are like a clever factory line for processing sound it starts with a shrinker layer that squishes the audio into smaller chunks using simple math filters then <clears throat> the magic happens in stacked conformer blocks, which are around 16 to 17 layers, like floors in a building. Each block is a sandwich, two half feet forward layers, wrap around a self-attention part. And then from there, a convolution module, which zooms in on nearby sound details like a close-up lens. The convolution bit mixes in gates and depth-wise filters to grab local vibes plus smoothing steps like batch norm and swish curves or better flow. So this is how it is trying to, you know, avoid any mistakes. And this whole combination makes it efficient and top notch at speech tasks customized for medical chatter. And that is what the whole purpose of this model. Very impressive as you just saw the performance. So I think Google has done wonderfully well. Another cool thing is that you can fine tune it easily. I will also be doing another video on the fine tuning. Um, for example, you know, if um, you're in Australia, the accent is different. Maybe the medical terminologies are spoken in different ways. And you have a different sound level in your words and that sort of stuff. So you can easily do that. Uh, let me finally check, you know, run, show you the VRAM consumption. This is a VRAM con consumption under you know 800 meg so you can easily run it on the cpu too that's it let me know what do you think please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member also if you are looking for any ai projects to be done please reach out happy to do it um, with my team for you thank you for all the support